Hey moms, welcome back. In today's video, I'm just sharing with you one simple resource that I used in my home school when I was trying to teach my two older boys their multiplication facts. Today we're talking about math, which is one of my absolute least favorite subjects. However, I do love multiplication facts. I love all things multiplication when it comes to math. Once you get past the multiplication and all that, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I don't use that in my everyday life. But I wanted to share today's video with you because in one of my recent uploads where I talked about homeschool curriculum and I kind of shared um, how our year was looking, I shared with you a little bit about teaching textbooks. I was sharing with you guys one of the resources that I used when teaching my children multiplication facts. This is something I had never heard about before. There was a mom in our homeschooling co-op who had shared this resource with me. And so after a few of you moms had mentioned, hey, I wanna know more about that. What is that? What is this Times Tales all about? So today's video, I'm simply sharing with you Times Tales. I'm going to share with you how it worked in our home. I'm going to share with you how it's used when you're teaching your children multiplication. It is something that was different. It was fun. It wasn't in the book. It wasn't something that they had to just drill, drill, drill. It was actually in fun story form. And if you're like me, I'm always looking for ways to make things fun in our home and not just the traditional sit down and drill, drill, drill. So Times Tales is what I wanna share with you. Times Tales is a DVD. It can be watched on your TV or on your computer. And what this is, you guys, this is an awesome tool for helping to teach the multiplication facts with your children. And it also touches on division as well. So in my home, when it came to multiplication facts with my oldest, the smaller digits, he got really well. He got onto those really quick. Multiplying by twos, multiplying by threes, multiplying by fives, we got those down real quick. When it came to the bigger numbers, the bigger multiplication facts, everything kind of moved quickly through teaching textbooks. So if you didn't grasp all of your multiplication facts at once, it can kind of just start a snowball effect where you just gotta hit the pause button. We hit the pause button and we started using times tales until the multiplication facts were memorized. That is something that worked in our home. I know everybody does things different. Everybody has different ways of approaching math and multiplication facts. And I wanted a way that was not a sit and drill. And I didn't want him to feel like he was getting behind or to get frustrated or flustered with any of it because he wasn't memorizing his multiplication facts fast enough. So for us, for multiplication facts, Times Tales was a lifesaver. This is something I purchased on Amazon. I think when I purchased it, it was $20. I can't remember for sure, but I've had it for five years now. I know there's an updated version of this and I'm going to leave it in the description box down below. There is a link that takes you to the Amazon website where you can look at this for yourself. And if you have a kiddo who's struggling with multiplication facts, I highly recommend this because it's a different approach to multiplication. There's a story that goes with each multiplication fact. The back kind of shows you that. So as you can see right here, number nine is a tree house. Number seven, you've got Mr. and Mrs. Week. You have the tree house. So each number has a character assigned to that specific number. So as they're doing these multiplication facts, there's a story. I wanna to read to you what the back says real quick. It's not super in depth, but I just wanna read it to you. It says, Times Tales will take you on a learning adventure through the upper times table. Also includes a printable CD for tests, crossword puzzles, and other reinforcements. There are also flashcards on there. You have multiplication flashcards that you can print at home. You have crossword puzzles you can print at home. There are tests that you can print at home. It's really awesome because as they're beginning with their multiplication facts, each number will have a character. Number eight is drawn as a snowman. Number four is a chair. Number three is a butterfly. So in their mind, they're remembering these digits as a character. And there's a story that goes along with that particular character. So that's what they're memorizing, which makes it so fun for little learners. If multiplication is something they're struggling with, this is an awesome resource to use in your homeschool. There are flashcards that you can print out. There are crossword puzzles that you can print out. There are tests that you can print out. And in the beginning stages of this Times Tales DVD set, it has the characters on the flashcards. And then once you progress through, the characters are no longer on the flashcards and it's just the number seven. So they're memorizing it in character form and story form first. And then they just know seven times seven is 49. They just know the multiplication facts. It is not the way I learned multiplication. It's not how multiplication is traditionally taught. But in our homeschool, I was looking for a different way. I loved the mad minutes that we did in elementary school. But for my kids, I'm like, 
We don't have to do mad minutes. I think they would enjoy it, but when they're just learning their multiplication facts, I don't think the drill, drill, drill method was a good form in our homeschool. So we were using teaching textbooks, like I mentioned, and it was going a little too fast. So we stopped, we hit the pause button on that. We introduced times tales, and it was an awesome thing that actually worked so well for all three of my boys because they all sat and listened to this. It was something that worked well. We just plugged it into the DVD player and the kids watched it on the couch with a snack and that was their math for the day until we got the concepts down and then we returned to teaching textbooks. So for us, Times Tales was an awesome resource to have that wasn't the sit and drill method like I told you once before. It was what we would end our homeschool day with we would do all of our other subjects, then we would all meet up at the couch, sit down, and do times tells together. And it was something I had all three of my kids watch. They're fun stories. I think it's awesome for kids of all ages to help reinforce those facts. Times tales is something that worked awesome for math in our homeschool, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. I had forgotten all about it because my kids are kind of in between stages now. Both of my older boys have pretty much got their multiplication facts down. I am not kidding. Thank you to Times Tales. So now Times Tales will be used for my upcoming second grader whenever he hits that point in his math curriculum as well. So I just want to share this awesome math resource with you guys. If you want to learn more about Times Tales as a resource for your homeschool, I included the link in the description box down below, like I said before. So click on that link and go check it out for yourself. If you have a kiddo struggling to learn their multiplication facts the traditional way, I think Times Tales might be an awesome resource for you as a homeschooling mom that can kind of take some of that pressure off your back. It's just a different approach. It is a completely different approach to multiplication through story form. Our homeschool, it was an absolute lifesaver when it came to multiplication facts. So that is why I wanted to share it here with you. Let me know if you have heard of Times Tales. Let me know if you've used Times Tales. This is something that was brought to my attention a couple years ago from a veteran homeschool mom. I had never heard of Times Tales, neither had any of the moms that were my age. So I am so thankful for the veteran homeschool moms who share things like these, who share resources that we don't always hear about. So that is why I want to share this with you all. I hope you enjoyed today's quick video all about multiplication and resources in our home to help make it easier. So I will see you all in our next video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.